In mathematics, a non de Sargassian plane, named after Gerard de Sargues, is a projective plane that does not satisfy de Sargues' theorem, or in other words, a plane that is not a de Sargassian plane. The theorem of de Sargues is valid in all projective spaces of dimension not 2, that is, all the classical projective geometries over a field or division ring, but David Hilbert found that some projective planes do not satisfy it. Understanding of these examples is not complete, in the current state of knowledge. Examples Several examples are also finite. For a finite projective plane, the order is one less than the number of points on a line a constant for every line. Some of the known examples of non-de Sargassian planes include The molten plane Every projective plane of order at most 8 is de Sargassian, but there are three non-de Sargassian examples of order 9, each with 91 points and 91 lines. Hughes planes Moving planes over alternative division rings that are not associative, such as the projective plane over the octanions. Hall planes Andre planes Classification According to Weibel 2007, pg. 1296, Hanfried Lenz gave a classification scheme for projective planes in 1954 and this was refined by Adriano Barlotti in 1957. This classification scheme is based on the types of point line transitivity permitted by the collineation group of the plane and is known as the lenz barlotti classification of projective planes. The list of 53 types is given in Dembowski and a table of the then known existence results for both collineation groups and planes having such a collineation group in both the finite and infinite cases appears on page 126. According to Charles Weibel, 36 of them exist as finite groups. Between 7 and 12 exist as finite projective planes, and either 14 or 15 exist as infinite projective planes. Other classification schemes exist. One of the simplest is based on the type of planar ternary ring PTR, which can be used to coordinatize the projective plane. The types are fields, skew fields, alternative division rings, semifields, near fields, right near fields, quasi fields, and right quasi fields. Topic: <laughs> Conics. In a de Sargassian projective plane a conic can be defined in several different ways that can be proved to be equivalent. In non-de Sargassian planes these proofs are no longer valid and the different definitions can give rise to non-equivalent objects. Theodore G. Ostrom had suggested the name conicoid for these conic-like figures but did not provide a formal definition and the term does not seem to be widely used. There are several ways that conics can be defined in de Sargassian planes. The set of absolute points of a polarity is known as a von Stoke conic. If the plane is defined over a field of characteristic 2, only degenerate conics are obtained. The set of points of intersection of corresponding lines of two pencils which are projectively, but not perspectively, related is known as a Steiner conic. If the pencils are perspectively related, the conic is degenerate. The set of points whose coordinates satisfy an irreducible homogeneous equation of degree 2, furthermore, in a finite de Sargassian plane. The set of q plus 1 points, no 3 collinear in pg q is called an oval. If q is odd, an oval is a conic, in sense 3 above. An ostrom conic defined below based on a generalization of harmonic sets, Artsy has given an example of a Steiner conic in a moving plane which is not a von Stoke conic. Garner gives an example of a von Stoke conic that is not an ostrom conic in a finite semifield plane. <laughs> Notes <laughs>